what's going on i'm here to give y'all my 2022 rifle collection yep this is all i got as far as rifles right now back in the days i had a ton more i had a ton more long guns than this as far as rifles go <clears throat> i had a bolt action i had uh a different ak i had another ak um i do have another rifle lower but i don't want to present that as a gun yet because i don't have the, the the upper for it yet so when that's complete then that'll be added into the um the following collection video for 2023 lord willing that i'm here to see on, on, on another year you know what i mean so currently i'm gonna run down my four uh <clears throat> rifles that i currently own i'm gonna start from the top to the bottom from the bottom to the top Let's get it going, man. So, currently, here we go. We got, this is my Razi Model RS-22. Chamber the 22 long rifle. She has a Simmons scope on it. Um, this scope is awesome. Budget-friendly scope. You already know this, this rifle comes with, um, it comes with these sights on it. It comes with the fiber optic front sight. And the fiber optic rear sight, as you can see right there, the green ones, green dots. Awesome piss, um, awesome rifle. This is my favorite 22 rifle. Shoots very good, very reliable. Cross bolt safety. Um, I added the, uh, you see, um, these dovetail scope mounts right here, so you can see right through and witness with the. Uh, with the scope rings on instead of using your scope you can go right through that and just focus on your front sight and your rear sight okay if something happens to your scope or something like that set up really nice i love this gun 10 round magazines rosy rs22 about 130 bucks brand new by the way the next one this is a savage model 64 f this is also a 22 long rifle um, this one has a longer barrel than the Rosy, much heavier. Um, I haven't really shot this one yet. This one was a little bit more expensive. This one was about 165 bucks. Uh, kind of, it came, um, did come with this on this. I, uh, this is a little cheap Walmart Tasco scope that I threw on there. This scope is really made for like BB guns, but it should do fine on this 22. I just didn't want to waste the scope. I had it laying around. I didn't want to waste it. So I said, all right, I'm just going to throw it on this Savage here. Uh, this one has one of these safeties, a, 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 like a receiver mounted safety. I kind of like this one a little better when it comes to shooting. It's much easier to access it than it is the, the cross bolt. Much heavier, like I said, than the Rosy because it has a longer barrel, slightly longer barrel. Stock feels much more, much more durable on the um, Savage. You can hear it. You know, can't really tell from. You got to be here to see it. But hundred sixty five dollars, brand new. Uh, I haven't got it out to the range yet. Stay tuned. The only thing I don't like about it is the the mag catch. Sometimes is a little bit annoying. The mag release. But that's about it, man. It's also comes with a 10 round magazine. Stay tuned because I have some more 22s uh, coming soon. So stay tuned. I'm a big fan of 22 rifles. So y'all going to see a lot of those on this channel. Next, we got my baby right here. This is my Adams Arms Crusader AA15 Chamberlain 223 556 came just the way it looks collapsible stock only thing that i put on it is the i put these flip flip up iron sights I put those on it and i put this bushnell i put a utg riser on it and the bushnell tr25 this thing holds zero really good um if you don't want to go crazy and spend a whole lot of money on a on a red dot right now, I recommend the Bush now. This one 
never gave me any problems, man. Never lost a zero, anything. Still going strong. Uh, and also added a sling. I think this was a, a Black Hawk sling. I can't remember. Added this sling. And then I added a, um, a sling, a single point attachment right here. Uh, the one that you just clamp on around the castle nut. This gun is about seven years old. Never gave me any problems. Currently has a Men 2 magazine in it. This is a gas piston AR, by the way, too. Adam's Arms uh, model AA-15 Crusader. And last but not least, my Century Arms Wasser 10 AKM AK variant, whatever you want to call it. Chambered in 7.62 by 39. My baby. Oh, man. This is a wonder to shoot. Uh, man. When I mean a wonder, this thing is such a good shooting gun. It's smooth for an AK. It shoots very well. Very accurate. Mine doesn't have the candid sights. The old Wasters used to have those can it sight problems but they fixed it since then before they, they kind of fixed it in a way when you really look at it it's still it looks like it has a slight little left can't but it's nothing like it's nothing the way it used to be back in the day so slight look like it's angled slightly but it's not a problem it's been very accurate y'all know wasses are crude these are romanian tanks okay uh paid a little on the high end for it got this about a year and a half ago i think i paid um what seven seven hundred and change for it brand new um i used to have an m10 ak not the m10x not the one that's the problematic m10 i had the fa cougar arms m10 that had the metal um front rail and had the front sight here instead of way up here i had one of those and that one recalled much more substantially much more than this one this one is an absolute beauty to shoot man i love this gun I, i'm an ak fan and you will see another one i have another one coming soon not gonna tell you what it is but it is a yugoslavian a hint 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 to put it like that all right so anyway that is all that your boy Rebel Shooter has as far as rifles go. So stay tuned though, because that is definitely gonna change. So let's do a quick recap. We got the Sentry Arms, Wasser 10, AK, uh, chambered in 7.62 by 39. We got the Adams Arms, Crusader AA-15, chambered in 5.56223. We have the Savage Arms, Model 64F, chambered in 22 long rifle. And we have the Rozzy model RS-22 chambered in 22 long rifle. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Rebel Shooter. I definitely see y'all in the next one. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Share and all that good stuff. Catch y'all later.